Welcome. I'm Robin Rothenberg, a certified yoga therapist specializing in yoga for multiple sclerosis. This is part of the MS Center at Evergreen Hospital's Therapeutic Yoga for MS series. In this segment, we'll be focusing on breathing. Proper breathing is very important to relax your nervous system, bring you into a, a sense of presence and calm within yourself. And so we're going to begin by having you set yourself up in a very comfortable position. I suggest having a pillow or a bolster to put underneath your knees so your lower back can be in a very neutral and relaxed position. And for those of you with some neck and shoulder tension, taking an extra blanket or a little towel to roll up to put underneath your neck will ensure that your neck muscles can relax completely. So begin by closing your eyes and just giving yourself a little bit of time to settle into your natural breathing pattern. Just your natural breath flow, observing how the breath enters and exits the body, the feeling of the breath moving through the chest and through the abdomen. Just noticing, noticing if you are holding some tension in your body, give yourself permission to relax the shoulders, neck, jaw, throat, and let the breath flow in a more easeful manner. Now, as you settle into the breath, please bring your attention to your exhalation breath and to your abdomen. And I'm going to ask Karen to place her hands, one above the navel and one below the navel. And I encourage you to do this, too, to give yourself some feedback. So that as you exhale, imagine that you're zipping in and up from the bottom or squeezing the breath out from the bottom up. So with your exhale, you're pulling your abdominal muscles in and pressing the breath up and out of the body, much like you would if you were squeezing a bellows and pressing the air out of the body. Then when you open the bellows, you expand chest to belly and the air enters. Exhaling, drawing the belly in, pressing the breath up and out, and as you inhale, expanding from your chest, upper abdomen to the lower abdomen, and repeating that flow so that you start to get the rhythm of this more full diaphragmatic yoga style of breathing. This breathing is particularly useful in calming your nervous system and bringing you into a state of relaxation. So to emphasize this movement, particularly the exhalation movement, I'd like you to practice breaking the two parts of the exhalation in a more defined way, so that as you exhale, first brought, bring your attention to the lower abdominals, from the pubic bone to the navel, pulling in and up, and then pause, and then continue to zip in and up and engage the upper abdominals. On the inhale, it's one fluid, expansive opening breath, chest to belly, and then again, zipping up halfway, pause, and then exhale and pull in and up through the second half. Inhale, expand and open. This type of breathing, the two-part exhale, also helps to condition the deep abdominal muscles, which is very good for supporting the lower back and engaging the deep inner core. Exhale, pull in, pause, exhale, and then inhale, expanding chest to belly. And because of the focus that's needed for breathing in this way, again, it centers the mind, quiets the mind, and induces more of a sense of relaxation. So to work with seated breathing, the very first piece is to set your posture up well. So Plant your feet sitting towards the front edge of your chair, so you're not relying on the back of the chair, but really relying on your own back muscles. Plant your feet so that they're hip width apart, hips and knees and ankles in line with one another. And it's nice to have a yoga block or, or even a firm pillow to place between your thighs, which helps to encourage you to engage your inner thigh muscles, which supports the platform of the pelvis with the pelvic core. So settling into your pelvis, feeling like you're sitting firmly into both sit bones and creating a nice axial extension, vertical elongation of the spine, releasing the shoulders down away from the ears. And if you are a person who tends to hold tension in your neck and shoulders, just take a moment to roll the shoulders, relax the jaw a bit, 
and settle into your body. So begin by focusing on your own natural breath, allowing the eyes to close and bringing your attention inward. A little squeeze on the block will help to keep your attention on your posture. Relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears and feeling the natural flow of the breath as it enters and exits the body. And begin by placing your hands on your belly, one above the navel and one below the navel. As you exhale, draw the belly in from the bottom, pressing the breath up and out. As you inhale, expand and open through the chest, through the rib cage, and down into the abdomen. Again, with your exhale, it's a zipping action in and up, and a little squeeze on the block will help to ensure that action is more full and complete. Inhale and expand chest to belly. Again, notice if there's any tension in the upper body, relaxing the neck and shoulders as you continue to work with this slow zipping action from the bottom to the top and this opening, expansive feeling from the top down. Working with the two-part exhale now, dividing the breath so that you exhale from the bottom, pubic bone to navel, and then pause for a moment and then continue to exhale and pull in from the navel to the rib cage. Inhale fluidly from the top down, and again exhale, pull in, pause, and then continue to pull in and up. Maintain the upright posture in your upper body as you breathe so that you're dividing the action below the diaphragm or the rib cage as opposed to doing a little bit of a up and down movement. You want to avoid that action and maintain a nice axial lift through the entire spine. Once you feel that you have this rhythm, you can relax your hands to your lap. I'm going to encourage Karen to bring her hands to the side so that you can see her movement through the belly as she breathes in and up. Inhale and expand and exhale another two-part Exhale, pause, and then continue to pull in and up. Inhale and expand from the top to the bottom. And now, Karen, just a fluid exhalation breath. Returning to that unsegmented breath, noticing how that feels. Eyes closed, if you like, to bring the focus more internal. Observing how this focus breathing is bringing you into a greater sense of centeredness, groundedness, and calm.